Welcome to the first actual video I'm putting on my channel. In this vid, I'll be talking about games. Everybody loves games. They can be super fun and even relaxing at times. I'm a guy that plays a lot of video games when I'm not working a 9 to 5, and there are a lot of games that are on my list of favorites. One of my favorite genres of games is FPS games. They are pretty cool and entertaining games to play, with pretty amazing storytelling usually. But there is one game that I'd have to say is my number one favorite, a game that innovates in a way others don't. And that game is... This is Titanfall 2, a fast-paced, movement-based FPS game that died. I'm not okay. Psych! The game was fixed this September. It had a pretty big increase in players too. Titanfall 2 is an absolute masterpiece and a perfect example of how to make a really fun, engaging, and even complex first-person shooter. On top of that, it's only like 30 bucks, which when you compare that to most if not all AAA games these days, it's pretty cheap. Titanfall 2 is created by EA and Respawn, and is one of my top 3 favorite games of all time. And there's so much to talk about with this game. I'll try to cover slash summarize most of the stuff in this video, but now it's time we talk about. Titanfall 2 has what is honestly one of my favorite experiences when it comes to campaigns and games. It is one of the most interesting stories, and some pretty cool characters, and it uses its mechanics to the best of its abilities. The story is fairly simple. You play as Jack Cooper, who at the time is nothing but a foot soldier, who after his mentor dies, ends up being given his Titan BT. Throughout the game, their friendship gets stronger as they fight the IMC, who are the big bad of the game. You go through all sort of different levels of the game, the all having something that is really unique to them, and in some of these levels there are even boss fights. One of my all-time favorite levels in the game, and a level that, if you've played Titanfall, is easily the best level according a lot of fans, effect and cost. BT. A level that utilizes its time travel mechanics in such a great way, where you go into an old wrecked Ares facility to reconvene with Anderson. Then wonky time rifts start happening causing Jack to be sent to the past and then being zapped back not too long after. He finds Anderson's body and takes this device that lets him swap between past and present at will. Jack finds out that the time skips he is experiencing are the result of the Fold, a prototype doomsday weapon that produces distortions in space-time to destroy planets. So he fights the IMC in the past and weird dinosaur thingies in the present until weird reality thing happens and he passes out. Then he wakes up in the present and the device doesn't work anymore. Then they leave to go talk to the militia about it. It's a pretty rad and amazing concept for a level and doesn't feel forced or underwhelming in the slightest. And critics even really like the level so that must mean it's pretty good, right? So now that we talked about one of the greatest levels in video game history, now it's time for... This is Titanfall's multiplayer. Getting straight to the point. You have loadouts like in COD. In those loadouts you have a bunch of customization. Like tacticals, which are essentially just classes. They have different abilities that are pretty self-explanatory if you just read the names. Then you have pilot camo to change the color of your pilot. Then you have a bunch of weapons that you unlock by leveling up. Then there's kits that are basically perks like in COD. And then everyone's favorite. 
executions, or assassinations for all my Halo fans. Then there's Titans like Ronin, Ion, Scorch who I hate, North Star, Tone, Legion, and Monarch. There's also Boost, which are additional equipment to help in battle, and a plethora of game modes to play. There's also factions, but those don't really matter to be honest. So all that to say, that there's an insane amount of content Titanfall 2's multiplayer has to keep you engaged. The multiplayer itself is just really, really fun. And there's a lot of dumb stuff you and your friends can do get a really good laugh. So in the end, Titanfall 2 is an amazing game with tons of stuff to do in it. The campaign is crafted and made beautifully, and is really engaging and enjoyable. The multiplayer is insanely good and has tons of content to always keep you entertained. The gameplay is fast and smooth, and just feels really nice in general. Also, this video was supposed to be out a month ago, but I kinda forgot 80% of the way through. Sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed the video, maybe even consider subscribing. That's all for now.